Hello, my name is Ann Holmes and my quilting technique is no sewing until you quilt it. I'm going to share with you a quick quilt show. I come from a stained glass background where I'm used to building a window on top of a design. You saw me building this perhaps on Quilt TV. I thought you'd like to see the finished results. I come from a stained glass background where I'm used to building a window on top of a design. I've approached my quilt making that same way, building my quilt top on top of my drawing with fringe fuse as my foundation. I turn all the edges with glue stick and then seal it down. And there's no sewing in it until after I make the quilt sandwich. Then I quilt and stitch all at the same time. This is a great technique for complicated wall hangings. This one has lots of little pieces, all with turned edges. But it's also great for bed quilts. This is the first queen size bed quilt that I made with this technique. This is called working together until we achieve our goals. The center was made with no sewing until you quilted on my French fuse foundation, turning the edges. Then I added a traditional uh, sewn border. And then I built the sides, the four sides of the quilt with my uh, technique again. And this was very fast to, uh, to do. And this quilt has been washed several times. It's nice and soft. This is a king size quilt that I learned to do hand applique on. This was a Mary Sorensen's block of the month that I got like in 1999 and I expanded it because I wanted a king size quilt. This was made in three long sections without any sewing in it and then I stitched and quilted all at the same time and then I joined the three units after it was quilted and stitched at the same time. So even very large quilts, if you break it down into smaller units, um, this was easy to do. It was very manageable on a home sewing machine to do this. This was one of my stained glass uh, designs that I made many years ago. And um, I used it for the center of this quilt called Enchanted Evening. This was made in three long sections. I actually demonstrated building this at a Paducah quilt show several years ago. It was made in three long sec sections. The center section took a bit of time to do, but all these borders with these diagonal pieces went together very fast, laid together um, very flat. And I joined this even with a curved seam. And in my book, you'll be able to see how I join the units after they're stitched and quilted at the same time. Um, my book has two queen size quilts in it. My book takes you from uh, beginning projects to two advanced uh, projects. This quilt was made in uh, seven units. This is one big block here, 45 inches by 30 inches. The border, all of that is included in the block and you can save those pattern pieces and use them for the corresponding block. The center has three big blocks. This is 30 inches by 30 inches and in my book I show you how to join that. This was all done on the home uh, sewing machine. But you can also use a long arm machine for those of you that love to do uh, long arm sh um, quilting. This was done, um, made in five sections, a large center section and then four big borders. It's all turned edge and um, I sent this out to be a long arm machine quilted only. He, you, the Brian who quilted this for me used an applique ruler so his hands weren't up in the air. They were you know, down following the edges of the pieces very carefully with an applique ruler that slipped right onto his hopping foot. I hope you 
enjoyed my quilt, quick quilt show. Thank you.